Hello friend! Terraria is a massive game filled with dozens of different accessories. We have amazing ones like wings, which allow flight, the ank shield that protects us from many debuffs, and the master ninja gear, one that gives you a dash. However, where there are great accessories, there will always be some that are virtually useless in the grand scheme of things. I'm here to present to you the 5 most useless accessories in Terraria. I'm Zuzucorn and I aim to entertain you, encourage you, and offer you a place to call home. So subscribe now and join the Zuzucorn family. Before we begin, I just want to make it clear that very few accessories are truly useless, as they all have their weird niche purposes. However, when you look at these accessories as a whole, with respect to the entire game, they don't really offer much in terms of use for game progression, which is why they're on this list. If you disagree or think that I'm missing out on something, feel free to comment down below on what you think are useless accessories. Of course, any accessory is useful early game if they have a good modifier on it. But that aside, let's get to our number 5. The very first accessory that we have on our list is none other than the guide to plant fiber cordage. I'm sure most of you have seen this accessory on your playthroughs. The guide to plant fiber cordage is an accessory obtained from surface level wooden chests, and when equipped, it allows you to get the vine rope when you break these vines hanging from certain types of grass. You can only collect vine from regular vines or jungle vines, but not from the hollow or crimson vines. Although this accessory allows you to obtain a large amount of vine rope for use, it really doesn't do anything else. From what I know, the use for rope is pretty limited as well. It might be just me, but I barely use any rope at all, especially past the very early game. In addition, I usually find enough normal rope from random chests everywhere, so I don't ever find myself needing more rope. If you have some reason to amass lots of rope, equipping this accessory and bashing through the jungle will easily net you insane amounts of vine rope. The guide to plant fiber cordage is one of my most useless accessories because apart from this use, I don't really know what else to use it for. Isn't it just annoying when you stumble across a surface chest early game, hoping to find something amazingly useful like climbing claws for example? then excitedly opening the chest to find one of these. I mean, sometimes you find one with the warding modifier, which really helps a lot in expert mode, but I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that I'd rather see a boomerang, or even an aglet, instead of finding one of these useless things. Next on our list at number 4, we have the expert exclusive Moonlord drop, which is the Gravity Globe. Being an expert mode exclusive drop from the Moonlord, this accessory proves to be rather underwhelming. Of course, since we now have the Celestial Starbot, in addition to the suspicious looking tentacle pet, it's not so bad now. But let's cover what this accessory does. In essence, the Gravity Globe is simply a gravitation potion with unlimited uptime. With the Gravity Globe equipped, pressing the up direction flips gravity, just like a gravitation potion. Previously, you could only use it while on the ground, which makes it way worse than the potion. In 1.4, you can use it in the air as well, truly making it a Gravitation Potion clone. Now this accessory isn't exactly useless, it's as useful as the Gravitation Potion and can be used against bosses, and also to find Sky Islands and Sky Lakes. But the reason this accessory is on the list is because of when we actually get it. Like I mentioned before, this accessory is an exclusive drop from the Expert Moonlord, meaning that when we get it, we are already at the endgame. When we're post Moonlord, what's the point of even having one of these? Surely most of us would have already found all the Sky Islands we needed. And with post Moonlord gear, we wouldn't need to use the gravity flipping method to defeat bosses. This really makes the gravity glow pretty pointless in general. We don't need something like this at the point we actually get it, which makes it pretty useless in my opinion. There might be some divided opinions on this accessory, so if you disagree, feel free to comment down below on why you think that the Gravity Globe isn't useless, because I might have overlooked something. Next of our most useless accessories, we have number 3, the Flamewalker Boots. Now this one is kind of a debate. The Flamewalker Boots is an accessory obtained through Obsidian or Hellstone Crates, which are obtained through Lava Fishing. With how much of a pain and how slow Lava Fishing is, it's somewhat difficult to obtain these in the first place. However, once you've painstakingly obtained this pair of boots, all it does is leave a trail of fire when you walk. Yep, that's it. 
I would imagine that being called Flame Walker Boots, it would at least allow us to walk on lava or even give us fire block immunity. But all it does is leave flames when you walk, purely as a cosmetic effect. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the flames do look pretty sick, but apart from that, it really doesn't do anything else. You could argue that these boots are not really an accessory, but more of a vanity item, meaning that saying they are useless is like saying vanity items are useless, which they definitely aren't. Vanity items make Terraria more interesting and more fun, but well, the Fling Walker boots are strictly still classified as an accessory. The main reason why I chose to put the Flame Walker boots on the list is because it can be combined with the Lava Waders to create the Hellfire Tread. We all know that the Lava Waders is the amazing pair of boots that allow you to walk on lava. It is also a component of the Terra Spark boots, the most overpowered pair of boots in Terraria. If you didn't know that, you can check out this video on how to make them. Anyway, by combining the Flame Walker boots with the Lava Waders, you get the Hellfire Tread which is just the lava waders with the flame effects. I mean, that's pretty cool and all, but in doing so, you can't use the lava waders to make the Terra Spark boots anymore. It feels like this item is just a pitfall for newer players to ruin an already hard to find component of the Terra Spark boots, which is definitely better than the Hellfire Tread. With virtually no practical use, coupled with the fact that it can ruin your lava waders for the Terra Spark boots crafting, the Flame Walker boots are definitely one of the most useless accessories out there. Number 2 on our list, we have the all-important, almighty, overpowered, Step Stool. The Step Stool is a new item added in Terraria 1.4, and its sole purpose is to exert dominance over others. Nah, I'm just kidding. The Step Stool actually has a strange purpose. Equipping the Step Stool and pressing up raises your character slightly, allowing you to reach slightly higher spaces when building. Four spaces higher, to be exact. That's about it. Oh, there's another purpose, actually. It allows you to jump and reach higher platforms. Yeah, that's about it. The step stool is pretty fun to use when you fool around with your friends, but it's kind of useless. I mean, according to the wiki, pairing a cloud in a bottle with the step stool can give you an even higher jump boost, and it raises your hitbox by a little. But really, that's about it. You can find step stools in surface level wooden chests, which are pretty accessible really early on. I guess the extra jump height does help a little at that point, but beyond that, it really doesn't do anything else. But well, if you are looking for a way to exert dominance over your friends while playing Terraria, this accessory is the one for you. Finally, we're at number 1, the item that I think is the most useless accessory in Terraria 1.4. This accessory is none other than the Flower Boots. The Flower Boots are a rare accessory that's pretty hard to find and come across. These can only be found in ivy chests and jungle crates, and only at a 5% rate. Before you say that the jungle is full of chests, take note that rich mahogany chests are not the same as ivy chests. Rich mahogany ones are basically gold chests in the jungle. Ivy chests, however, are the ones that contain jungle exclusive loot, and those can only be found at the base of living mahogany trees and jungle shrines, which are illuminated by green torches. This makes the flower boots pretty hard to find. You'll be at the mercy of RNGs for these. Since they're so hard to find, shouldn't they have some amazing effect? Well, to be fair, they used to, in general, the flower boots allow you to regrow grass instantly by standing on dirt or mud blocks. Prior to 1.4 Journey's End, this could be exploited to get you unlimited bait really easily. We know that critters have a chance to spawn when grass is broken, and since these boots can regrow grass instantly, using something like a yo-yo would continually break grass, constantly generating tons of critters for you to catch. In fact, if you wanted an AFK version, you could simply use the golden buck net, a swinging one would destroy the grass as well. Coupled with jungle grass, one could get large amounts of high bait power critters like buggies for example, and never had to worry about baits ever again. In 1.4 however, any grass generated by the flower boots will not spawn critters. This means that even natural grass will not spawn critters if you happen to walk over it with your flower boots. This essentially destroys obtaining critters this way. Right now, the only use that these pair of boots have are to obtain hay really quickly. Hay is used in crafting target dummies, 
and is obtained by using a sickle to cut down grass or flowers. All you have to do is walk over an area, cut it down, then walk over it again, and cut it down again. But honestly, what's the point? The flower boots used to be overpowered, but they're now pretty much useless. A rare item that's hard to find, basically having no use. In my opinion, the previous overpowered bait farming strategy truly justifies its rarity. However, now I can't really see it working. These boots are truly disappointing and pretty much one of the most useless accessories in Terraria, especially when you look back at its glory days. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria guides and coverage. If there's any accessory that you think is more useless, or if there's anything that I missed or overlooked, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, there'll be a Q&A session when we hit 30,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe now so we can get there together. This has been Zuzucorn Games. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!